Okay, so so far we've done some gentle movement on the on just moving the body, just lubricating the joints and the shoulders and the hips, twisting the spine, doing some some core strength movement. So we're gonna gonna move this on now. And one of the things that a lot of people come to classes telling me about is how tight they are in the shoulders. You know, a lot of people spend a lot of time driving or typing or playing xbox i don't know don't know whether you're into xbox i've never never quite got into it myself but um whatever has happened there's a it, it can tend to be a tightness in in the body uh, in in the neck and shoulders so so today's session we're going to be looking at the looking at the shoulders and first time round, we're gonna as you can see just starting to circle the shoulders backwards circling them around so the shoulder blades move towards each other and then the, the front of the shoulders let's move towards each other at the front and then circle the other way around that's really good so just enjoying that type of movement And then we can just move on from that if you wanted to. So just simply bringing the fingertips onto the shoulders and just circling them again. So circling the elbows. So we did this earlier. So it depends on your range of movement because we are going to start to develop this. So stop at whatever stage is comfortable for you. Don't be forcing anything. And then just circling those elbows back. That's looking good. And then just release from there. So you can either continue with that movement or just by placing one hand on, on a shoulder. So I've got my left hand on my right shoulder. So we're going to do both sides. And then we're just going to do this gentle sort of figure of eight movement on its side. Can you see that movement? Just this figure of eight. Just visualize this. It's actually like an infinity sign for any mathematicians out there or physicists. So just moving that around a few times. So just as you got used to that one way, we're gonna do the other way around. So finding the opposite movement, the same arm, beautiful figure of eight. And when I'm in a yoga class, it's, it's often interesting to look at people's interpretation of the this infinity sign. It, sometimes it could be just like this or, or like that. So how are you getting on? Do let me know. This is coordinating that movement. And then we're going to move to the other side now, maybe just taking a moment to see how that shoulder is feeling. And then ease onto the other side. So this time I've got my right hand on my left shoulder. And then we're going to circle again in this figure of eight movement. Nice kind of movement following. That, just getting that coordination going. Just going as big or small as you like, you know, just being mindful of your own shoulders. Remembering to breathe. And, and then we're going to come the other way around. It's looking good. There you go. Have you got that sign yet? It's like a, the, the whoosh sign, you know, the, on the Virgin Media. It's like a whoosh kind of thing going on. And then ease off that. 
And then it's always good to get some real coordination going. So let's try both arms now. So just make sure you've got plenty of space. I was doing this once and uh, my wife came up behind me and um, a big bowl of her breakfast cereal and I knocked it out of her hands. Wasn't very popular. So I don't think either of us have been very mindful or aware at the time. It's always a good idea to make sure there's no kind of lampshades either. We've found them by now. If they were close. And then just as you got used to that, let's just move them arms around the other way. So this figure of eight. Beautiful. 1812 overture. Last night of the proms here. I should bring the music in the background. So I'm making these figure of eights as big or as small and then just come into stillness and essentially from here you can close the eyes if you like and then just feeling into the shoulders how's the energy feeling how are the shoulders feeling so general rule of thumb with any yoga postures is if a dull ache is, is good, that's, that's quite nice. And uh, might not seem nice at first, but, so, but, but it is, it's, uh, you, you get into it. Uh, but any sharp pains anywhere, don't, don't try to work through them, just really ease off. So, so a sharp pain is telling you something and uh, that it wants to stop and a, and a dull ache is, is secretly telling you it wants a little bit more. Um, that's, that's my rule of thumb. And, um, but yeah, just being quiet, breathing in, breathing out. Just allowing the shoulders to release down. At the same time, the crown of the head is releasing up. Feeling that connection of the ground underneath the soles of the feet. And then just lowering the chin to the chest. Open the eyes. And lift the gaze. So the shoulders, we, we've, we've warmed up quite a bit now, hopefully. Um, you, you've felt that uh, you know, nice sort of opening in them. And um, we're going to just do this, what is known as a six-way stretch now. And, um, and essentially, I'm going to come close to the camera, but we're going to interlink the fingers in this kind of position so you can see how my fingers are interlinked and um, so essentially I'm going to do that behind the back so fingers behind the back and just for this particular version we, we're going to have the palms nicely spread away from each other you know if you get more advanced with this and you can make a double fist and keep the palms together for quite a while but let's just be relaxed on this Keeping the knees really nicely soft. So not, not bent, but soft, not, not straight. Now this, find that balance. And then first of all, let's just press that the interlinked fingers down. So opening up through the shoulders. Taking a big breath in. And then as you exhale, remember to keep those knees bent and you come down and then really bringing the arms over and just letting the head release so it's amazing how much tension and how much holding on that we do with the neck onto the head but just giving that neck the chance to release and the head flops down so holding this for a few breaths, keeping those knees bent, opening up, feeling into the shoulders, and then lowering the arms down to the back. 
And then once they're lowered down, you can release and just let the hands and the arms drop down and just give them a bit of a, a shrug, a shrug in the shoulders, releasing the neck. It's really nice way of opening up the shoulders, just enjoying this and keeping the knees bent. And then to come out of this, we're going to come up in a flat back position. So engage the thighs again, engage the glutes, the pelvic floor, the lower abdomen, and then using all of those muscles, but none of the back muscles come up to a standing position. If there's any dizziness, do keep the chin tucked in for a few moments. We've been down there for quite a while. And then once you feel okay to do so, this the eyes closed, just lifting the, the chin and then tuning in again to the body. Just how does that feel? What's the flow of energy like? Can you feel any heat or any tingling in the body? How is that feeling for you? And then to come out of this, we're going to lower the chin to the chest, open the eyes, and then lift the gaze.